just got done talking with Jody, and he said he, the one thing about this team is they're ruthless. Can, can you maybe explore that with us a little bit? What do you think he means when he says that? Yeah, of course. Um, ruthless, I feel like to me that means that we're very competitive. We're fighters. Um, we don't give up if um, we go down on the floor and we get a turnover or <clears throat> a missed shot. We'll get back on defense and we'll fight back for that. Um, always on the go and never quitting. The newcomers, Jody talked about them as well, Tegan and Kayla, and, and um, just, just maybe you could address how you've been able to integrate with them on the court and off the court. Mm -hmm. um, so Tegan is an amazing player. We're so lucky to have her as a grad transfer. Um, she is going to fit, she has fit in very well with our team. Um, she's a captain and she has a voice here already. Um, she's done a great job at being a leader, um, telling us what to do, where to go. Um, very outgoing and positive person and I can't wait to play with her. Um, Kayla, right now she is um, hurt and so she's recovering. She's in rehab right now so we don't get to see her as much on the floor but during the summer she was a big body um, and it was great playing with her. I actually played with her when we were like 15 years old at the BYU Elite Camp and we killed it together. Um, and I was actually trying to get her to come to BYU because I knew she was also looking at Michigan. Um, but it's great to have her here now um, that we'll be able to play together. And then also Lauren Gustin. Um, she's a newbie from Slick. Um, we played together in high school and absolutely killed it. We won a state championship our junior year of high school. Um, so it's been great having her here and playing with her. So I'm really looking forward to playing with those newcomers. Shannon, we just got done talking to Jody about how this year is just so wild up in the air. You guys originally this weekend were supposed to play, I think it's LSU and UT Martin. Mm -hmm. um, and then UT Martin got switched last minute to Washington. H how does a coach just kind of address that kind of stuff with you guys? Because I know you obviously need to take games one game at a time and focus on kind of each team, but do they bring it up? Do they kind of mention it like, hey guys, something happened, you know, this team's out, this team's mm -hmm. in, we'll, we'll figure that out later, or, or how do they kind of bring that up with you? Yeah, so um, last week we found out by our assistant coaches, and it's kind of hard because, you know, you look for – we scout them, and so we already have, like, you know, are thinking that we're going to play that team. Um, uh, fortunately, we didn't sit down and, like, watch film of UT Martin yet. Um, we've just watched film on LSU, and so we're preparing for that first game. Um, but I feel like it's all going to be up in the air, like, the whole season. Like, we'll never know what's going to happen. Like, we might not be able to play a team because of someone might get COVID, and then they have to quarantine, so you might miss a game. Um, so just being hopeful and still um, getting prepared for that team is what we're going to do. Okay, I'm curious, with everything that's kind of gone on with this whole season and also you coming off the ACL injury, what do you expect the emotions to be like when you take on LSU? Do you expect some extra nerves and maybe some a little bit extra adrenaline going in? What do you expect uh, on those first from those first few minutes on the floor? Yeah, um, I'm a player who doesn't really get nervous. I us I have a lot of confidence in myself, and so I just cannot wait to play that game. I want to play it right now. Like, I'm so excited to get out. It's been over a year since I've been back, and I'm excited to show everyone um, my hard work and how I've gotten back into the game. I'm excited to prove myself and just to play with my team again. So I'm really looking forward to it and really excited. Let's take a question from Jason Shepard and Norma Gonzalez. I'm curious from, from your perspective, when, when you look at this team and with so many players back and all of the additions and the talent from top to bottom, how good do you guys think you can be this season? Personally, I think top 15, top 10 in the nation. I That's my goal. That's my personal goal. I think we can accomplish that. We are a great team. We're so deep, um, meaning that we have players that can play lots of positions. And 
if I'm or Maria or Paisley, the three guards who are starting aren't feeling well, we'll grab in Kaylee or Tegan and they'll fill in for us. Um, so I think that helps us a lot that we're very deep and um, we have a lot of players and very, very competitive team. What's the thing that you missed the most not playing last year? Because obviously injuries have a, <laughs> have a way of kind of putting everything into perspective. What did you miss the most having to sit out last yeah. year? Um, just the competitiveness and the aggressiveness, playing with my team, being a part of that chemistry, like being on the floor, yeah, you're still – or being on the sideline and sitting on the bench, you're still into the game, but you're not as, like, I guess, like, linked in with that team because you're not actually playing physically. Um, so just being able to play with my team again, I'm just looking forward to that and fighting with them and going as far as we can. Um, into the WCC tournament. I want to win that, and then as far as we can go into the NCAA tournament. Hey, Shaylee. Hey, Shaylee, because of where you were in your game when you sustained your injury, do you feel there's any expectations for you to just sort of hit the ground running, and do you feel like you can meet them? Um, I definitely feel like I can meet them. Um, at the beginning, coming back, it was a little bit frustrating and hard for me. Um, like in the weight room, I wasn't as strong, and I've just had to work up to it. Um, I was in a knee brace, and that was a little bit hard for me. I felt like it kind of held me back a little bit. It was probably mostly mental for me, but um, like I felt like I couldn't jump as high or run as fast. Um, but now I'm just in a, a sleeve, and so I definitely feel like that helps a lot, and I can am more free in that. And so I definitely feel like I'll be back to where I was freshman year. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll be able to start and play that first game. Any other uh, follow-up questions for Shaylee? All right. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you guys so much. See ya. Have a great day.